Right, so so far we've uh, installed uh, Divi, we've created some pages using the pre-made layouts. Uh, so next what we need to do is to specify a home page and also we need to sort out the menus. So this is kind of basic WordPress stuff, but if I click on the back end and go to the dashboard here, first off we'll go and sort out the, uh, the home page problem. So if you go to where it says settings, reading, at the moment, your homepage displays your latest posts. Well, we don't want that. What we want is a static page. Which one? Well, we set it from here. So I click on the down arrow. It's this one called Home. It could have been called anything. I just called these uh, simple names like Homepage just for clarity. So I'll click on that. And when I click on where it says Save Changes, now if we go to the front end, it displays the specified page as the home page which is called home page. So there we go, it's now working. Uh, these menus, if we go and click on them, they are working, but we need to go and sort this out and uh, tidy it up. So, so go and click where it says menus here. Now at the moment, it hasn't actually got a proper menu in place. So where it says menu name, we need to give it a name. Um, if this is about bed and breakfast, I could call the menu bed and breakfast and say click here to create the menu. Over here we've got all our pages. Um, probably the best, the safest thing if you're doing this for real is to click where it says view all so all your pages are displayed. Then go down here where it says select all and then click here to add these to the menu. So these are my pages. Annoyingly, it puts the home page in twice, so you want to get rid of this second home page entry. You've got one at the top, one down here. So click on the down arrow here and simply go to remove. So now we've just got the one. Also, we want to reorder things. So normally the contactors page will be at the end on that menu, so we'll drag that down here. Uh, again, in this case, I'm going to drag the blog down here. Whoops. So this basically will be displayed at the uh, top of the page on the left, then the next one, next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. Incidentally, this is just called landing at the moment, which is a kind of a silly name, but uh, you know, it's something we should have changed as well. So we'll just leave it as landing for now, but obviously we want to go and change that. And the way you do that is by clicking on the down arrow there, giving it a different navigation enable. Instead of landing, let's just call it more info just so it looks neater. And I'll just do that, save my changes. So what we're gonna have is homepage, about, more info, luxury suite, rooms and suites, blog, contact us, and on reflection, maybe luxury suite should go after that one there. So I'll go and resave the menu. So now if we go to the front end, there's the menu set up properly in the way we wanted, but it's not. You think, well, hang on, I've done everything right. But a common mistake that people forget is they do those um, two steps there. They create a menu name, they create or drag items onto the menu. But this third step is something that's very common for people to forget. So let's go back to our menus. Rather annoyingly, we have to go back here and click on where it says primary menu. Click on save menu. Now if we go back, it'll all be fixed. So there we go. So it's a slightly annoying thing, but it's quite common with a lot of themes. You just have to specify that um, the menu you just created is gonna be what's called the primary menu. So let's just check everything's working. There's the, the home page. So I think you'd agree with minimal effort. I mean, that was pretty cool. And of course, you don't have to stick with what's there. You can just change them and delete bits and pieces and edit them. We'll see all this in a minute, how to, how to do that. If you go and click on About, there's the About page. Notice the nice fading in, of the picture in the background. That was all actually done by Divi. We'll see more on this stuff later. You know, you've got a counter there. Everything's working, everything's fine. We'll go to this page that was called Landing and I changed to More Info. So it's just, uh, yeah, we could put some more information in there and change things around. 
and then we've got room and suites. Again, that fade was actually done by Divi in the picture. So it's all looking nice. You've got some counters running there. You've got an embedded video there that can run. You know, everything's looking beautiful. So let's go to Luxury Suite. There you've got the rates and everything, which obviously can be edited. Again, another video. And you've got testimonials there. Then we've got our blog here. We don't have any blog posts at the moment, so it's going to display an error, but we'll fix that in a minute. And then over here, we've got the contact us page. So I think you'll agree that was pretty dramatic from nothing. We created this brilliant looking website, uh, which we can easily customize. So if we had a bed and breakfast, we could just use that and not actually bother creating any original stuff, just adapting what we've got. Mm -hmm.